Okay, we're going to take a deeper look here into the Agility applications, Agility Explorer, and the Agility Design Studio. So Agility Explorer is built with the Design Studio, and the Agility Warehouse product, the WMS applications, are built with Agility Form Studio. So let's go ahead and get into that. You'll see on my desktop I've separated two icons here, Agility Explorer and the Agility Designer. And those would be compared to the Agility Warehouse product, WMS, and the Agility Form Studio. Let's take a look at Agility Explorer. I'm going to log in, pick my company. I've got my menus on the left, and they're still opening and building. You'll notice that I have a number of different areas. These are menu choices over here, and I have a bunch of favorites saved at the top. I'm going to open something very common, the Inventory Item Master. So this is built on a Wysis view that was created inside the Agility Design Studio. So quickly, if I want to use this I can just rearrange these columns and I'm using the default grid right now so maybe I don't want this field and maybe I want to add another field so I'll just grab a user defined field everybody has user defined fields drag it up on the screen maybe I'll just rename it special now as soon as I've customized the screen the way I want to look at it, I can hit the Save As button, and I'll just create that as Bob. And you'll notice that now I have the default view or the Bob view. The default view can't be changed. It's built by Wysis. It's going to always be there. But as many people as want to customize their own view, it's available. So let's go ahead and focus in on just a couple of items here. So I want to look at a couple of items and you'll notice that I want to focus on this item. I can filter just very quickly and drill down on just the information that I want. As I hover over this line, you'll notice I have buttons across the bottom. The more information that's available in the system, these buttons will light up. So if I hover over S'mores and click Open Orders, I'll get a view into the system and I can see that I have a sales order and if I double click on it I'll get a view into the system that looks a lot like Macola ES. This works the same with progression as it does ES. It'll look all the same. It's built on views that are common to both products. So I have a sales order 83 in the system. It's a book status order status 1. Okay, how was this built? So let's take a look at the guts of this application. I'm going to open the designer. When I open the designer, I'm going to pick the company that I want to work on. And then I can look at all projects or maybe just what I used last. I know that I'm looking at the inventory projects. So I'll type IM. I'll see, oh, here is the Inventory Views project, so I can open that. And once I get this component open, uh, this is a project, so there's many components in a project. And so I want to specifically look at the grid that I had open, IM, INV, master. So here's that master view right here. I'll double click on it and open it. Now there's a couple ways to step through this. It's a menu driven uh, easy way to create things. So I've got a little wizard right here. I have these buttons across the top. These buttons are the same as pushing next. So once you get good at what you're doing you can just go to the area that you want and you can click on it. I'll just step through it very quickly. First of all, this grid, this inventory master view, 
has some appearance, behavior, style, and refresh op options. So if I wanted this grid to refresh every 10 minutes, I could do that and just click Auto Refresh. That might be important if you're building a graph or a gauge, maybe something you just want to sit and refresh all the time. Maybe a grid is okay because there's always a refresh button on the grid. We'll just leave that alone for now. So I'm on the first button here called Settings. Click Next and I go to the database. So here's the SQL that someone has put in here. And if I want to see what this SQL is going to look like, I'll just click the Data button. And now I'm getting back exactly what that SQL is telling me it's going to give me. So if you're good at writing SQL or using the Enterprise Manager to get your SQL, just cut and paste it right in here. There's also a quick way to use it kind of in a, uh, a format kind of like Access. I'm going to go to the next button. This is the filter. Now, if you have maybe 30, 40, 50,000 records in your item master, you may want to put a filter on that before you get started. Like, I want to look at only the warehouse MA. Or maybe I only want to look at a certain product category. So you can create your own filter on that grid. Kind of like a pre-start filter before you open it. Now these are the buttons. Remember I showed you the button across the bottom for open orders? These buttons have been pre-built. They're there. You just add a button and you can make it active or not active. There's alerts. So maybe on that grid if something is a value of zero or maybe you want to look at something that's an inactive item and you want to make it yellow, you could do that on this grid. And finally, details. So this is just more parameters on how you can separate your information. Okay, let's stop here and we'll go back to the the other two applications. Let's look at these two. This is the Form Studio on the gun. So I'm going to log in. I can quickly log in as just a simple form with no look and feel as a gun or I can choose to look at it in a skin that makes it look exactly like it does on the handheld. So I'll go ahead and log in as Joe. And you'll notice that I'm driving this application right on my PC. This is a terminal service application and it's available to run on the desktop. You use the same license as the handheld and these are the components that I've added to this screen. So let's look at PO Receiving. So this is the default PO Receiving app. And I can get a PO and I can look at an item. So this is a PO, this is the item, this is exactly what would happen on a physical device. Now let's go into the Form Studio Designer. It has a look and feel similar to the Agility desktop designer, but this is just for the gun. It's a form. So here's all projects or ones used last. Let's go into the WMS applications. So there are different groupings. You'll see there are groupings here for warehouse, pallets, pop, shop floor. So I want to find the one that I opened just a minute ago. So PO receiving right here. So you'll notice right away that the the application is exactly the same size as this on the physical device. And when you begin to design on this form you can move fields up and down. You could add buttons. You can have up to six buttons on a screen. Now these are all the fields that are on this particular form. You'll notice when I receive a specific product, it knows that this item was not a lotted or binned item, so things disappeared as I selected item. It's intelligent. Now this design form has capability for me to actually run it 
if I push this button right here, I can actually simulate the run environment that I had before. So I'll go ahead and select an item. And you'll see that I can actually see what's going on. And these are the debug elements that are happening as I select information. But these, this is the area where you actually construct and add variables and object calls and things like that and how the, the actual handheld executes. So once you learn how to use either the Form Studio or the Design Studio, you'll be able to transition back and forth between the two environments, creating things very quickly. Those are the two design applications I wanted to show you today. Thank you.